Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are going to be looking back at my photography uh, for 2021. So let's uh, start by looking at some pictures. So I remember January as a month where I had really hard to find inspiration for my photography. Uh, but the images that I did manage to take I really like. So the one that really stands uh, out for me is the lonesome tree in the winter landscape. So that, that is an image uh, that I took during a cross-country skiing session. And I just uh, happened to have uh, my iPhone with me. Uh, so when I came across this tree I just knew I had to take an image uh, of it. Because the atmosphere was just perfect with the... Uh, amount of snow, the fog and the light just trying to uh, penetrate uh, the dense uh, fog and I think the image uh, yeah the image just came out really great and I'm really happy with it. Uh, so in uh, February me and my girlfriend was on another ski trip and I took uh, these two images uh, and I really like them both, but the image on the left I um, uh, really like because that just happened kind of, of an accident. And we were going up uh, the gondola to reach the mountain top. And I didn't really notice the shadow uh, of the gondola on the trees. I just thought I needed to take a picture of the trees because I really like yeah, the amount of snow they had on them. Uh, but just as we passed these trees, uh, the gondola just showed up as a big shadow and I just snapped the image and I think it worked out perfectly. Uh, so I'm really happy with uh, that image. So March was uh, apparently uh, animal month. Uh, and I think uh, these two images just work uh, really great in black and white. Uh, in uh, April I switched uh, out the animals for uh, flowers. Um, but I continued with the black and white uh, theme and as you will see that will grow uh, stronger throughout the year. Uh, the image with the, the orchid is my personal favorite this year. I'm really happy with that image and I think it's just great. Uh, May become another uh, animal month. Uh, the image on the left is the first image uh, took with the Rico GR3 where I used the uh, highlight uh, weighted metering mode. And I really like that mode on the Ricoh uh, GR3 and I think every camera should uh, have uh, an mode as uh, highlight uh, weighted metering because I think it's just great and I'm really pleased with uh, that image. In June I managed to take this self uh, portrait and I really like it. It's not every day that I wear a hat and I was uh, on uh, this big stadium here in Stockholm and the light was just great uh, and the light was hitting concrete plates uh, and uh, bounced uh, up to my face and uh, yeah I'm just really happy with uh, this uh, image. Uh, July, that was uh, nature month. Uh, I love the ocean and one evening uh, during the summer uh, around sunset I went down to the beach and I saw the light just hitting the top of these small waves giving um, the ocean an interesting pattern. And then the ocean bottom uh, gave an another layer to this image, uh, another pattern. And I think that just um, works uh, really, really great. Uh, so now we move into the month where black and white photography really takes uh, over. And the first month out is August. 
So this month I learned that you always need to check that your image is in focus when you take uh, your image. Uh, mistakes happen and this image down at the bottom left is one of those images. I really like the image. Uh, but if we zoom in on that image, I'm not going to do it now, but if you zoom uh, in on the image, you will see that the sailboat and the sky uh, in the back of the image is not in focus and that is a big shame because I really like the image, but yeah, sometimes that happens and you learn and you will do better uh, next uh, time. Uh, but the image that stands uh, out uh, this month is the image with keep the distance. Uh, it's just a memory of the times that we are living, uh, living in right now and and for two years. Uh, and I yeah, I think it's just a, a good image. Uh, of to have as a memory of this time. In September I continued with the black and white theme and during this whole year I've tried to simplify my images going more towards a minimalistic style which I really like and I think I managed that pretty good during this month. Uh, when the dark month uh, take over Sweden during winter, just as in January, November was another month where my inspiration totally dropped. So I'm really happy that I managed to take this image uh, of one of my two cats uh, where she's just lit up with uh, this uh, Christmas star. So uh, yeah, that's just a quick look at some of my favorite images from uh, 2021. Uh, 2021 uh, was also my first full year of making uh, YouTube uh, videos. My goal uh, or my hope was to make at least one video every week. But I thought more realistic it would be like one video a month. In the end, I managed to publish 39 videos uh, from December 17, 2020 uh, up until uh, uh, 31st of December 2021. So uh, yeah, uh, I've learned a lot. Some videos have been better, some uh, have been worse, but you live and you learn. And I have learned a lot and it has been really fun. And hopefully you have picked up uh, some tips and tricks and maybe even f have gotten some inspiration out of this uh, channel. And uh, yeah, I will continue doing videos uh, during 2022. And, um, and I hope you will uh, keep uh, watching because uh, uh, this channel won't be anything without you watching. So uh, yeah, that's it for uh, this video and I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.